Hey Ma, did you know I'm on the TV? No? Well, um, I'm gonna be coming to visit you. You're always on TV land. I'm on TV land? Lan. You know, his name. Yeah. I was talking to him. Which also rhymes with TV land, as in the actual channel. Mm. With good shows. No, I don't. I don't think these two can pass as an act as actors. No. They could pass for something. I, I'm pretty sure. So what were but, we doing anyway? Well, we finally finished the freeze man. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. We haven't finished the freeze man scenario because we haven't gone to bed yet. No. Oh, okay. So, well, so we have, actually we haven't quite moved on to the next scenario yet. Not yet. But we're just gonna talk to some peoples and be a boo rang. But in order to finish up the scenario, we need to go talk to Mom because she was naturally worried about us. And she's probably mad or, no, oh, guess not. Your old dad called and I guess, yep, we did job well done. We're the hero of justice. We are, Sir Arthur. No, we're not. And Lan has no idea how to take this compliment. <laughs> no. He, he, he was trying to take it as in... He, is, he was hungry again, probably, for some curry. But not really. So yeah, now this officially ends the Freeze Man scenario. But a week later... Oh no. Cut Man? What? What's Cut Man? <laughs> No! Quick man, why? Oh right, and, I forgot oh, that never this mind. was something that was part of the game. Ah, demon! Why are you alive? But, yep, you know what time it is. It's boss rush time. Well, no, if it was boss rush time, it, it, you would only be facing them one other time. But, yeah. I keep forgetting so that apparently, they, they oh. had a thing going on like that where they're sending Navi copies en masse. En masse? How? You know, it, it occurs to me that I've never heard that pronounced. I've always seen it written, but I've never heard that pronounced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, maybe I've heard it, like, said once, but... I don't know. In mass? I don't know. I, I'd I have, don't know. I'd have to think to look that up after this. Probably. So, what we were just glancing over is that uh, there's some world crisis going on, and naturally the idea is to have Lan get involved because, well, he's an ace net battler. Oh man, the TV, because... are we on? No, she's on a commercial break. But, hmm. Gospel's not done because apparently Rabita. Or no, I, I think it's Rabita actually announcing this, that we're actually supposed to reinvestigate Code Buki. It's like, <laughs> they're not even trying to be subtle about it. It's like, yeah, you know where to go, just go there. I, uh, what do you mean you know where to go? That's not the first place I would have thought. I would, well, I that have was idea technically... Well... Remember that one uh, virus with the Nolan Voids in disguise told us about uh, Kotobuki being uh, the head location of um, Gospel? Uh, something like that. Because this was where we fought Freeze Man, so this is actually where we're supposed to go. And it does appear that there are some bad navvies still hanging around here. And a program? Yep. Oh no, a bad program. Oh Look no. Look at that malicious smile. Long live gospel. And just... Non-threatening laugh. But... Oh right. Yep. Black hole. Yeah, I Somebody totally... Somebody set up the black hole bomb. I... Like, 100% forgot all the details of this... Scenario. Oh, this last scenario of the game? Yeah. It's not, it's actually sort of a short scenario, and just a randomly walking virus, or I mean, evil gospel program just doing nothing. Yeah, this, an evil person just comes out into the 
like looking into the barrel of Mega Man's Buster and just kind of starts pacing. You know, the natural. Also, that response. was a very that was also a very t uh, necessary uh, s uh, scroll by walking towards the exit that didn't really need to happen. Yeah. Okay, but we need to visit Dab, but I, I think we might need some Dab, uh, you have luck a on our side. No, what are you talking about? This. Uh, don't worry about that. How are you selecting? <laughs> like, how are you making your decisions anyway? Uh, getting rid of chips I don't need. And an Elect 40. I don't think I have this chip. I guess you have a couple of Elect chips. Uh... Of the have, plus 40? You have Toad Man. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Except that I don't think to use that one. Because I, I I rarely use the plus 40 elemental chip things, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, usually... Like, if you're going to use those, it's for something like a... You have something specific in mind, like a chip that does lots and lots of hits. Usually... Mm -hmm. There's one go-to thing in Battle Network 3 that is always comes up. You mean a certain overpowered chip, or just... Well, with uh, Aqua plus 30, or 40. Mm, and that one Aqua Navi that can do, like, 9 hits. We do not talk about that Navi from make Battle Network 3. Oh, come on. It's it's no worse than half the stuff in the next game. You mean the game after that? Yeah. It's really hard to say, but eh, anyway. So, upon getting back to Dad's lab, we find out that he actually did not want us to get involved in the gospel incident or whatever. And there has to be a reason for why. And I, I do, and we love how he lands like, oh, well, there was that one incident, and I guess there was that other one, too. Yeah, I don't... But <laughs> Dad, why are you worrying? So I'm fighting the Net Mafia. <laughs> That's not worrisome yes. at all. Totally safe. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not like that power plant issue, or the issue in uh, where that one bus almost exploded with mail in it that wasn't that dangerous. <laughs> Oh yeah, the town of Kotobuki became radioactive, didn't it? Yeah, and that's pretty much the reason why he doesn't want us going there, because, uh, well, the radiation is ten times the usual levels. Takes a, takes a discerning it's eye. It's dangerous to, to humans. It's dangerous to humans. I, I think it's a little more than just dangerous. It's, it's dangerous to matter. We're talking... I don't even know if I want to talk about a nuclear bomb kind of radioactive. or I don't even think that meshes together. But still, it's up to 50 times normal. Well, that's really convenient. <laughs> I, I'm just... <laughs> Now that I'm actually thinking about what's going on, this is really spitting in the face of science, isn't it? Science, <laughs> yeah, logic, it and is. who knows what else. But don't worry, as long as we have MegaMan.exe, we're sure to sur help, or he's able to help us survive radiation. And. <laughs> Uh, I I don't know about this guy, even with a mag suit, because he's already kind of out of breath and all. He might need a he seems like he might need a mag suit for the office. Mhm. Mm but before we do that, we're gonna see if we can find. Oh, there she is. <laughs> okay. Suddenly we're in the folder. Mhm. Mm because I realized that. We are about to complete the chip exchange because oh, a... she wants a big bomb asterisk. And in order and if we give that to her, we get the 
Any minute now. Jennifer's folder! Oh, Because I guess she was a folder? scientist. Wow. Yeah, this is where you get the last folder. And she also gives you the hint about the uh, the bomb the uh, program bomb? advanced. But, yeah, the bit. Well, bomb? the big bomb is what we gave her. Uh, what was the actual advance? I, uh, I already mind. forgot. Um, because I did show it off during. Uh, yeah, we've used it a couple uh, one of times. the previous parts. I will look that up while I'm. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was rearranging the folder because I want to add a few chips and stuff. Oh, well, that's a pretty good folder. Yeah. What? The spices I never use because meh. It's got a few different elemental chips in there. That's that's an gives a lot of good stuff to just pluck out of it too. Ultra bomb. Ultra bomb. That's I okay. didn't remember it being called that. Yeah, I I was about I was gonna say omega bomb, but that's not it because. There, there's an Omega Ball, but that's for the Cannonball Advance, so hmm. there's that. Oh, really? But yeah. Oh. But yeah, in order to get to uh, Kotobuki City, we have to leave from uh, the Marine Harbor. We can't do that anywhere else. But meanwhile, we have a fabulous rave show about to be performed sometime during this session. Uh, so... Apparently, the technology in there is advanced enough that they can monitor the subway system and tell when specifically LAN is going... Okay, okay. 30,000. <laughs> okay. Specifically it went from 10,000 to 30... When LAN has bought a ticket to Kotobuki. That's how advanced their, rail their systems are. But they can't stop the train from coming there, they just let them ride it all the way there. Okay. Uh, pretty much. I wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> There's so much that doesn't <laughs> make sense at this point of the game. <laughs> Why indeed? It's the power of technology! <laughs> Therefore, everything is connected. What? Where does this come from? What, this music? Yeah. Uh, this is from uh, Robotrek. It's a kind of a, a really obscure RPG for the Super Nintendo. It actually, well, in the U.S. it's called Robotrek, but in Japan I think it's called Slapstick. Huh? I've I, not heard. Of it's that. um, it's by the same uh, creators of I want to say Act Razor and. Uh, what was it? The Illusion of Gaia? Hmm. I forgot the creators of it, but... Might have to at least check yeah, out its a... uh, soundtrack. Yeah. But the main reason I know of it is because... Well, PJ ran the game last year. Uh, that's not surprising. He did it on RPG Limit Break, and... Uh, <laughs> I think you could probably guess how that went. Uh, maybe if I knew what RPG Limit Break was. Uh, RPG Limit Break, uh, there's a channel on YouTube for that where they do a bunch of RPG marathons and stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can find the... Oh, okay, it was published by Enix and developed by Quintet. That's what it was. But... See, we have a couple curse shields in there, even though it doesn't look like where you're going for an advance or anything. I don't have Curse Shield 3. I don't even think I've fought them yet. Yeah. I just wanted to put something in there. And well, I, I also put Snake Man chips. Yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. Oh, man. <laughs> because I do play around with It just started and... yesterday? Okay, I guess that at least explains how they haven't noticed this yet. Yeah. Question two. Otherwise, this. How did they not notice the equipment that is able to, like, control all of gospel and make this happen? Being in a condo. Um. 
Well, I guess the reason they didn't notice is because that those guys are sick. Sure. <laughs> I I I had I had to get that reference in there, but it's like it, it don't uh, I don't know. The more I it, the more I remember this scenario in a mood where I actually feel like thinking about things, the more I realize it makes zero sense. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, I did get, I got a, what was that, uh, a Wood plus ramp, 40? or a, a plus three, or, I'm sorry, what was that? Wood plus 40? Oh, yeah, because I think, I think that might have been a reason why I decided to, uh, change up my folders, because I knew I was going to pick that up, <laughs> and, uh, that... yeah, I did Oh, the, the rat finally gave it a wall to stop against. Yeah, and I kind of thought at some point the bunny would um, stop or, or, or whatever on the ice because you can't have viruses in an em endless loop. No, you totally to can, actually. Can't and yet somehow like if, I got a Zapring 3. Like if that was a med or something, it would just slide back and forth all day. And it, and it wouldn't actually hit you, although the bunnies have to kind of stop, I guess. I, I don't know. It's really kind of weird how it works. But... Yeah. <laughs> it kind of amuses me to imagine that they have, like, an in-universe explanation for oversensitive alarms being paranoid programs. Uh, um. I have no <laughs> idea why I did that. Good going. Oh, I know. I think I was waiting for the uh, panels to get up there and then... Oh, to not be ice anymore. Oh, I know. It was because I wanted to test out Snake Man and I screwed up because I was waiting too long. It was something... Oops. ...to do with holes? Yeah, because when you use... It has two different abilities. Oh. This is what it does, but then... Oh, yeah, okay. you can do two different and things. And it hits a whole column twice apparently because I think Snake Man 3 said it was 50 power yeah I think at this point I decided a eh, weird... I, I'm not going to use That's it it's a really weird Navi chip yeah it is I, I don't think I ever used it before also because I reset there I didn't actually get to keep oh never mind I got it back anyway I guess and we remember so to save a... Well, I didn't save when I made that reset, so I had to go back a little bit, but it was nowhere near as extreme as the uh, blunder with Snake Man and... Uh, Black Man? Thun, Thun Man. Thun Man, that's right. Oh, Thunder that's Man. Right. And there was one other one. Oh, I remember. It was in the Undernet when I went and had to go see the dock. <laughs> that one was pretty bad. Oh. That... He can't walk because of the radi. Oh, he can't walk straight because of the radiation. He's stuck walking he's... sideways. Yeah. I mean, I guess if they're going to show a symptom, that's the best way to do it. Mhm. Mm but yeah, the radiation's getting to me, so um, I I'm gonna travel and kind of relax for the moment because it had quite an effect on me. Sounds reasonable. Mm -hmm. So what better way to relax than to uh, light up a smoke? Oh, no, I don't have any ignition. Never mind. <laughs> so will Heatman actually be able to aim for us this time, I wonder? Um, maybe? Well, he is version 2, so things might change up a little bit. Well, let's hope so. I, I, I took off Heat Style because... It's really, it's much harder to hit with that than it is with anything Whoa. else. And yeah, I guess I can just sit there cooking and all. So oh, oh we're, dear. we're good. He can't aim for you, can he? Uh, no, he can't. Poor Heat so, Man. So, <laughs> yeah, poor Heat Man. I'll just go ahead and take a try. <laughs> Goodness sakes.
Oh, hey, but, he can do something. Yeah, and then it's like, oh, okay, he, he can start using that attack now. I don't think he could use it while he was in version 1, though, unless you're, he was at low health. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah. I really need to clean out this folder because... It is a bit of a mess. There's a lot going on. It's a bit of a mess of code, so if you're aiming for program advances, this is probably... You probably want to be able to get through it a lot faster. <laughs> okay, now looking at, um, I don't know if I showed Nightman uh, Navi Chip before, but this is the first time looking at it again and then seeing he just flew away like Superman. <laughs> That's true. He does that, doesn't he? I, I, I never knew that. I think I got used to that during Battle Network Five, but <laughs> he, that is goofy. Isn't he went it? all, he went all Bowser from Mario Party. <laughs> Just, whoop, I'm just going to jump off screen. Off he goes. See ya. Don't know now, if I was sensible, 40. I would be using the... There we go. Go ahead. You can do it. There we go. Because I, I should have probably had one of the wood plus 40 or the heat plus 40 or whatever. Because I had that chip. And Yeah, it seemed like you were <laughs> waiting for that. I can't even hit him because the stupid panels are in the way. There and you then, go. Maybe. And then... <laughs> God damn it, why? Well, we got him a Every times. time. Eh, it was okay, I guess. We're having trouble aim... <laughs> All parties are having trouble aiming this battle. Mm -hmm. Oh, this should help. Yeah, we get to use Z-Ball. I don't know if I've used this before. I... Don't and think it does so. 300 damage per hit, that's so a it's lot. actually not. That's a yeah. That's a good way to compensate for the um. The fact that it's only a, a three range hit that doesn't spread or well, anything like that. Well, the fact that it's a uh, like time limited advance for a throwing program. Mhm. Mm and I wasn't in any hurry for that one because it was version two, and I was like, okay, that's enough. And then I realized. Well, it's the end game. Actually, I should be fighting him again. Probably can fight him for version three by now. Yes, I can. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and fight version three because we may as well do that. I wonder if he can aim now. Mm, kind of. Probably. Well, he's he's in the front row. Let's let's see how he fares. Thinking about it now, I should probably. Oh, okay. For a second, I was gonna, I was gonna say, I, 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 all of a sudden it doesn't sound like I can hear it all that well. I need to just turn the volume up a bit. But, it, d don't, don't worry, Gate Man. Uh, you're really cooking. <laughs> Everything's okay. Now. Oh, he oh, actually moved actually, on his own, even though you weren't in his row. Yeah, and he actually gets to finally use uh, this new attack, and then he uses it again. Heat Man had an idea. Isn't that Good great for him? Uh huh. Uh oh. Um, I, I can. And now he's. I can survive. Little. And then he moved out of the way for an attack, and I still got him. Oh yeah, he actually actively moves around. <laughs> yeah. And that's I can't perfectly believe fine, it took cause... him this long. Yep. But alas, this is where we say goodbye. It really shows that Mr. Match was the first boss of the other game, doesn't it? Uh, I guess. <laughs> well, I mean, dodging was his final strategy here. Not only dodging, moving into a position to hit you. Mm-hmm. And also hitting you with AoE attacks. But speaking of dodging, uh oh, 